waiting in my MG here, waiting to pick somebody up who's been having a shot. They're on a 15 minute rest period. Um, as I said on, on another video, I'm not taking the vaccine, but I don't want to talk about the vaccine right now. I want to talk about a show that my really good friend Alan Boyer and I are putting on. We did the first one on, uh, when was it? I uh, can't remember what day of the week it is, on Tuesday. And we're planning some more. And what we want to do is to draw people in by sharing some of the funny experiences we've had and to share how that connects with real living, real life, giving our lives and our hearts and minds to the service of Jesus Christ. You know, you have a ministry. You have a calling on your life. And I've said this before, but it could be to be the best bin collector there is on the planet. You know, the best garbage man or best garbage woman there is. And if that is your calling, do it with pride and God will lift you up. You know, it's great. If you are willing to do the most humblest of jobs, God will exalt you and he'll bless you. And more than that, he'll be happy and pleased with you. And it's a worship unto God to do the most menial job with love and acceptance and blessing, blessing those around us. You know, that's what it's about. It's about blessing those that we come in contact with. That really is. That is our role as believers, as followers, as disciples of Jesus Christ. Regardless of what church background you are, follow the Word of God. Commit your life to following Jesus Christ. Worship Him in spirit and truth. If you can't get to an outside service, just worship in your home. Turn on Christian music. Uh, watch our shows, you know, watch other people and you know, get on social media and talk to people, help people. God is a great loving God. He doesn't live inside a church building. He lives in the hearts of the people. So be encouraged today. Be blessed. Be strengthened by the grace of Jesus Christ. Because he said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And I've never seen the righteous begging bread. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or begging bread. Now, I've come pretty close to begging bread in my, in my past, in days when I was doing a lot of street evangelism and so forth. But that's something Alan and I will be talking about on one of our shows coming up. And we've also got Elaine Glover, and she's a radio presenter. And in fact, um, I, I, she and, and Alan were the ones that um, really reintroduced me into radio after many years of being out of the radio scene. And it's thanks to Elaine and her uh, work with Hope FM down in Bournemouth and now with um, Purbeck Sounds, Purbeck Coast Radio, she's with now. And um, I'm looking forward to doing an interview with her as well. And you're going to love it, folks. So don't miss out. Just be, be blessed, be full of joy. You know, this isn't a time for moping and to be sad. This is a time for rejoicing. This is a time for overcoming by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. The word coming out of our mouths is so powerful, brothers and sisters. God has never failed anyone yet. We sometimes can fail God. But God is a loving and forgiving God. Pick yourself up. Just say, Jesus help me. I think this is going to be my new motto. Jesus help me. If everybody in the world would cry out, Jesus help me. You know what? COVID-19 would be dead in, in a millisecond. If everybody would cry out, Jesus help me from their heart. This world will be transformed. We know that's not going to happen because some people just insist on resisting God and going their own way. But don't be one of them. Be one that will rejoice and say, Jesus, here I am. Take me as I am. Use me. Mold me. Heal me. Forgive me. I'm yours, Lord. I'm yours, Lord. God hears that prayer because Jesus is risen from the dead and is here to love and to bless you now and forever. Thanks so much. This is John Ruffle giving you a big shout out on his, uh, from his MG. We're in my MG ZR. 1994 ZR and hope that car there little old lady doesn't hit me I'm going to go and pick up my friend now 
and take him home. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.